Hello survivors, Wanderer here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost. We're over at the wreckage of the FMS Columbia. It's time to go home and go back to the Metro from whence we came. And um, I think the first thing we're going to do is go and see Buddy and get some Sandy back and maybe cook up these Mirelurk eggs. And um, yeah, do some of that stuff because uh, yeah. And then get our power armor back because that's the main thing. Get the power armor back. Because, uh, yeah, we had a real, real close brush with death in the last episode. I mean, like, I've never come that close before. Ever. Like, maybe ever in Fallout 4. I don't know if I've ever gone to that low of health before. Well, to one health. Let's, let's not be around the bush. I mean, our head was hanging on our shoulders by, like, a small piece of skin. Like, it was pretty rough. So I'm going to go ahead and mark Spectacle Island as our point of re-entry. I might actually swim all the way back to Fort Independence. Because it's not that much further to go that way than it is um, to go from anywhere else. So we'll go back over here. What the hell is this? There's like a... I guess it's like... The water looks kind of weird. It's almost like it's foggy. I guess like the fog effect is penetrating into the water for some reason. I don't know. But yeah, it's not like it's that far. Okay, that um, that was our carry weight. We can't carry everything now. Yeah, we're we're out of carry weight, right? So let's um, let's do a booze here. What do we got? We got a whole bunch of stuff actually. So yeah, let's go back and um, I guess we'll go back over and go on shore by the castle. And there we should be able to get back into the metro and get to downtown pretty easily. Restore as much sandy as we can. And then we're going for a trip to find the green line. So that's quite a bit of stuff to do. Um, quite a bit of ways to travel. I don't know if I'll get everything done on this episode or not. We'll try, but it's going to be kind of tough. So yeah, we're going to go to the castle now. Let me put a marker here. You can get a mod. I'll show you where the mod does it at. So if you get a mod um, to give you... Basically, it makes this rowboat in this boathouse usable. You can just press E and you can use it and row yourself over to the castle. You go on shore right over here, which makes complete and total sense. Like... I don't know why it's not a thing in the base game, to be honest. But it's not. I do recommend that mod. I don't, I don't think it's really overpowered or anything. I think it's like... Like, if something is a bit strong, but it's like extremely immersive, I see no reason not to go ahead and use it. You know what I mean? That's, um... I yeah, don't have a workshop that's good. Um, is there anything I can do here? Maybe I can just drink some more booze. Let's try that. Okay, we can run now. Good. So yeah, we're just gonna run straight over to the castle. Bit of a swim, but uh, might as well, right? There's a little way station over here as well that we can jump onto, and if we need to, we can regen health and get rid of our rads, but it doesn't seem like we're actually losing any health through the rads, which I know is weird, but uh, that's how it's working. Yeah, it's, the, the fog effect is, is like, piercing in the water. That's got to be, like, a bug with one of the mods I have. They probably didn't think about it or didn't care about it, because, like, who cares about the water in Fallout 4, right? No one does. I mean, even, like, these, too, right? Like, you ought to be able to... I mean, these are... That one's, like, half sunk, but, like, this one, I mean... This one's actually... Well, okay, there's some water in it, but... I don't know. It just seems, like, immersive to me to be able to take a, a boat over. Or, if nothing else, be able to, like, repair it. Shouldn't be a big deal. That's a bit weird. Just looking for any booze over here. This was definitely somebody's little, uh... Little house over here. 
out on the ocean. Such as it is, anyway. Okay, that's good. I do kind of wish there were, um, things in the water, you know? Scary stuff. I hope I'm not, like, just bugging out my, um, health meter and I'm just gonna end up dying instantly or something, you know? Just a weird texture there. Like, what's my health at right now? What's it say? No, it's fine. Like, we're not- we're just not- like, we're regening health faster than we can lose it. From Rad's there, it seems like. Sounds like stuff might have respawned in here. Oh yeah, we got the SMG. This thing is so fun to use. Now we cut everyone over here. Is there some water or something over here? I need some dirty water, actually, before I go back. There's a whole bunch of dead people. Um, so what happened here was that, um... The Alliance, I believe, came in and massacred. There were a whole bunch of ghouls over here. Uh, not ferals, but just, you know, sane, regular ghouls were living here. And, uh, the Metro... The, uh, the Alliance came in. Not the Metro Federation. The Alliance came in. And, um, they kind of murdered everybody. And there are some Alliance volunteers. Guess they killed that bear and stuff. Kind of want to use my fancy SMG. Because it's very fun to use. I love automatic weapons, man. What the hell happened here? Bro. What the fuck? Are those his pants? No, it's his... Sh shirt? It looks like he has a giant wedgie. What the hell happened? Commander's battle coat. Ooh. It's gonna take everything off that I have. It's pretty sweet, though. I kind of want it just because I kind of want it, you know? You know what I'm saying? Just kind of kind of want it because I kind of want it. I don't know that I can really carry it, though. Looks like no. Yeah, whatever. Pretty cool, though. Yeah, I already killed these people once. Powerful combat. That sounded like a missile launcher. It's a nice combat rifle. Okay. Apparently I hit that thing. What the fuck? Someone sniping at me or something? What the fuck? I'm not detected though. That good. There are ghouls over here. Come on out. I'll make it nice 
nice and quick. You can trust me. One thousand fucking EXP. Oh, he had a harpoon gun. Gotcha. God damn it, I fell off. God damn beer wore off at a bad time. Well, at least I can cook my food here. That's something. Missiles! Hooray! A feral there, but he doesn't seem to be aggroed. I want to know where this person's at so I can use the facilities over here. Can't cook while people are searching for me, you know? Antibiotics, nice. Carrying too much, all right. What can we do here? Drop that for now. Again, I don't think it's these guys. I'm really confused as to what's putting me in combat here. I guess it was you, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Yeah, it was you! Stand down here being fucking annoying. Well, now you ain't got no legs, just like Lieutenant Dan. How's that feel? Putting me in combat. Fucking dickhead. Are we, are we out of combat? No, we're not. We're going to be searching for us for like 10 years, it seems. You know, there's like nothing around here. Back here? When that restaurant has ghouls around it, I've already cleared it, though. I mean, it has ghouls inside, too, but yeah, I already cleared it previously. Here goes the booze. Am I using... No, I'm not. Guess wrapping that SMG did it. Am I still... Okay, I'm not anymore. Okay, so whatever. So, um, I'm gonna go in here. Yeah, I've already been through here. I'm gonna go through here and grab, if there's any booze, I'm gonna grab it. Maybe it's respawned, probably not though. But I'm gonna go through and get any booze if they're- okay, everything's respawned, I guess.
Bryant Hills Journal number 20. Got a whole bunch of those. Alright, well, it looks like uh, the beers respawned in here, so that's cool. Not a lot. But hey, I'll take what I can get, I guess. Easy experience is always nice, too. Here we go. Oh, don't be tired. Have, uh, have a new quantum. Have some beers. I want to say there's like a six pack in here too. Yeah, no, maybe not right here. A lot of flamer fuel there. I had to dip in this whiskey to keep myself going. Ooh, grape mint hat's also nice. Water is worth a lot, but I just don't have room right now. And yeah, I heard a bunch of muck crabs down here too. Nope, don't drink the water. Grab that dancing mutt crab. Mute crab. Mud crab, whatever. You know what I mean. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of freaking uh, rads over there. Alright, I think that's all over here. Let's check the rest of this place. There is some food and stuff in here as well. Looks like the meat sacks didn't respawn. But stuff down here did, like all the loose stuff in the world. All that stuff seems to have respawned. I definitely would have opened the doors because, you know, I would have opened the doors. But the ale's still there. You got a pro you know you might have a problem if you're taking your booze with you to the bathroom. And I'm an open one at that, you know. Okay, let's drink some water and stuff then. Get a bit of hydration going. Yeah, there's a bunch of uncooked stuff here. I wonder if there's a, a place we can uh, brew stuff, or not brew, cook stuff at here. I don't think there is. There are stoves, obviously, but they are not functional. Oh yeah, this was well worth coming into. Holy crap, there's a bunch of stuff in here. I, f I forgot how much good stuff is in here. I asked for bottles, and I sure to get them. A whole bunch of uh, uncooked food that we can cook up and will give us a good amount. Whoa. Character walked way far forward there, and I didn't mean to. Give us a whole bunch of Sandy back. All right. Well, we might have to... Um 
Might have to go outside. Might have to, like, you know, carry stuff like this. Go outside. And... There was some more. Wait a second and get my stamina back here. Yeah, go outside. And fill up this water and then ghetto carry it back. To that uh, cooking station over there. Then we can make a whole bunch of Mirelurk omelets. And that'll, that'll reduce our weight by like 20 pounds or so. Should be quite a bit. Plus, uh, Mirelurk egg omelets are like the best food because they weigh very little. And they give you AP and they give you lots of uh, hunger returned. Best food. And we are in Boston again. And it takes forever to load on the outside. I forgot. Pretty dark as well. If I find a bed, I could sleep for the night. Okay, someone just bit it. So we're right by the ocean here. Um, let's just go around to the north and... Still mines, apparently. Fill them bottles. Okay, now we're really over encumbered with 93 dirty water. I gotta drop these in a spot where I'm not gonna lose them. Like here would be good. There we go. Alright, we just pick that up, ghetto carry it. It's lore friendly, I promise. Please don't screw me over, game. It was like. Sometimes uh, the game will just like make you drop these when you're carrying something like this. It doesn't like you doing it. Especially if you cross a cell. I think we're good here, though. Okay, well, we're over encumbered no matter what now, so just take it up here. Okay. Only gives you five rads, by the way. Like, it's really not that bad to drink uh, boiled water. All right, so let's do a whole bunch of cooking here. I did nerf that quite a bit, like, it used to be, it used to take, um, for a muck crab egg omelet, mute crab egg omelet, sorry, I always say muck crab, it's not muck crab, anyway, it used to take one mute crab egg and dirty water, and now it takes three mute crab eggs, and it also used to heal you a bit, which was OP as hell. Not anymore, though. Okay, and the rest of the dirty, dirty water, well, I mean... I guess I could go ahead and boil it, I guess. No reason not to. Yeah, why not? You do lose bottles by doing it like that, because you only get one bottle back. I could sleep here, but it's not a very nice bed. I think I'd rather just go through Andrew Station over here. And uh, we'll make our way up through the station. In fact, we could probably make our back to the green line. Really, I'm over encumbered still? Because I lost all my drugs. My last buff tats, man. Speaking of, like, what am I at? Oh, we're at 47. That's pretty good. That's really not bad at all. Wonder if Andrew Station has respawned yet. This would be like my third time going through there and clearing it out. 
of those damn alliance scum. They shot at me first, man. They started the war. Don't blame me because I kill them. It's kind of spoopy with this music. I hate that word. I don't know why I say it. The whole fucking cutification of words. I can't even find the damn place when it's right in front of me. Here we go. Oh, there's definitely people here. Because I'm getting a detection. They might just be nearby, too. Did I leave anything up here? I might have. Yeah, I left some stuff up here. Nothing nothing good, though. I took everything most back with me, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. Did, um... What about here? Not nothing here. This was my home for, like, my first playthrough. Andrew Station was. Pretty reasonable player home, as long as you're uh, not using power armor. I don't, I don't think there's a power armor station here. Not sure how close or how far you have to go to get one. Alright, man, whatever. Like, there's nobody here. There's probably people, like, right inside here, though. In fact, that might be why I'm getting detection. Sometimes you'll get detection even though, like, they're inside. This place is really dangerous when you uh, first go through it because of all the mines and stuff. Looks like nothing's respawned in here, though. Which is fine. Anybody home? Watch your step as you enter the train. Looks like no. That MA, by the way, is for uh, Metro Alliance. In case you didn't know. Oh, there is. There are nice beds here. All right, let's sleep then. Give our guys some well-earned shut eye. This respond. Okay. Well, um. I guess we'll do some drugs. That just barely got it. Uh, I don't really need the bottles anymore. Let's uh, let's drink some drink some booze and some uh, Nuka Cola. I was gonna say, you gotta, you gotta be full after that, my dude. There we go. I wanted to get full so I could use this for more carry weight. <laughs> well, if they didn't know you, they were, you were coming before, they know now. Good job. But I think everybody's dead here.
I want to see if, um, so I have the Jack Frost mod installed. I want to see if it fixes, like when you go through here, there are like seams in the world. Nah, it fixes it. Cool. Cool, cool. Good deal. Yeah, like it, the seams in the world kind of show up there. Ooh. So I either forgot that or I never got it. Or, or I either forgot it or um, it respawned one of the two. There's normally stuff around here, so I would assume that I... Oh, there's stuff here. I'd assume that I... Got everything here. Just bottles. Not too worried about getting bottles anymore. This goes back to Eddie Winter's Incorrect code. place back here, which you can't get into in Frost. This goes outside eventually. There's some bottles back there. I'm, I'm assuming I got all the booze already back there. I did kill everyone and clear it out. Probably just bottles. Nothing left. Just a whole bunch of remainders of what I had here before. Okay. And this comes out... Joe's Spucky Sandwich Shop. Like, I forget where this is at. We'll, we'll take a look and see. I kind of want to get back in the power armor before we go further, though, just because, like, I've had some very close calls, and I've realized that I definitely don't want to end this run. I don't want to have to do all this all over again. I mean, at least not for a while. Like, once I'm done with this run, um, I'm going to take a break from Frost for a bit. Another break, because, you know, as much as I love Fallout 4 and Frost, it, it does, like, get to all run over the same old ground over and over again. Definitely ready for cyberpunk and some new stuff, you know? Though, if we get Nuka World, that would be a really interesting new experience. Well, I hear some ghouls. Where are we at? Oh, we're not very far away. Maybe that's what was giving me some combat there. When I was trying to stealth earlier. Alright, I guess we can go home and suit up and then be on our way. Drop off stuff, so drop off stuff, suit up, get some water, etc. We can run for a long ass time. Whoa, buddy. Hold on there. Can I just move this thing if I do this? Yep. That makes that makes perfect sense, let me tell you. That's not dangerous at all. What if I didn't actually hit it? Yes. <laughs> when it collides with that, it just pushes it around. That's kind of funny, actually. What about, um... What if I throw at this guy? Hey, you. Whoa. The hell you think you're going, dog? Come here, be part of my experiment. No, it doesn't affect enemies at all. He just ran right through it and bit me in the face. Okay. Good to know. Up 
Here is DB Tech. Uh, should be cleared out already. There shouldn't really be mole rats, and I heard mole rats. Kind of weird. Dude, all these cars are wanting to, like, explode on me and kill me. This is not cool. Every time one of them moves, I'm worried it's going to blow up. Kind of a rare, yeah, Warren Theater, kind of a rare area here. I'm not sure if I was in here or not yet, but it's not marked on the map anywhere. Looks like no, because there's still stuff laying in here. Definitely would have gotten the cooked stuff, or the uncooked stuff, as well as the booze. It's a really cool little instance. Um, if you come here in the base game, I'll show you once we get up here. Ground floor. Ground floor. So if you do this in the base game and you come up here, which I'll show you where it is on the map real quick. It's unmarked. It's kind of between Wilson Tama Toys and, well, this is Outpost 19, but uh, the Boston Club, I guess. I don't know. That's where it's at. Um... You come up here, there's a theater up here, and uh, there's a ghoul here right now, and he's knocked everything over. But when you come up here, all these mannequins are, like, standing, and there's a synth back here behind them, and you can't... Like, because the synth is, like, it, the, his text, his skin texture is similar to the, um, the mannequins, you don't see him. He scared the shit out of me when I when he started moving. He hides from you at first. It's really, really a cool encounter. Like, I just thought that was well done by Bethesda. But of course, since uh, as they exist in Fallout, uh, in uh, you know the base game, don't exist yet in this game. That's all there's really here. Nothing nothing all that extraordinary. But it's pretty cool. Back out we go. Sorry, ghoul. You're left there to flop around in crazy physics forever. Ground floor. This is gonna take a while to load probably. Okay, back out we go. See, so yeah, let's just let's run up. Oh, we're actually past our safe house, aren't we? I just need to go back here. It's not far at all, though. And they respawned. Think you can hide from me? Hmm. Nothing there now. I really hate the jump system, and like it's it's so finicky. Sometimes you hit jump, and you just don't jump. Might be respawned, I don't know. I don't care that much, though. 
I want to go back. Oh, can I jump down anywhere here? I'm lazy. That works. Oh, hello, turret. Okay, right over here we go. Home sweet home. How's it going, Slim? Did you have a good time while I was gone? Take care of my place for me? Uh, what do I want here? Mentats. Any booze? No booze. That's okay. I'll sell you some $10 bills. Good enough. All right. Uh, yeah, let's get in the safe house and um, get our power armor back out. And I finally, I brought my X01 leg back, so maybe I can modify that and I'll have a nice uh, calibrated X01 leg. Pretty sure you can't transfer the mods between legs on uh, Frost power armor. You can in Horizon, but not Frost. Dump it all off. Yeah, we got T60, but we uh, we can do X01, and we can do the best, the absolute best on uh, this type, and we'll do that. And then, um, explosive shielding seems like a good way to go, too. And, uh, yeah, calibrated shocks, sure. Let's equip that. Nice. So that's, uh, yeah, it's substantially better. All right, cool. So there's that. One more step towards um, a full, almost full X01 set, of course. You can't use the helmet because lore reasons, I guess. Like, it doesn't actually make sense, Nogram. It really doesn't. We all agree it's kind of silly, but whatever. You do you, buddy. And uh, put that away, put that away. Now, we have a whole bunch of water. That's great. Let's get some purified water out of here. You know what? I'll just dump back in there for a second. I'm going to have to go through my stuff here for a bit. We're going to take, like, as much booze and sandy boosting stuff. Or do I want to? So here's the question. Like, what did that say? The lamp here? Oh, turn it on. Of course. Wonderful. Um, here's a question, like... Do I want... to be... Do I want to be insane when I go to the island? Because it'll make my melee way stronger, right? Light switch here... Yeah, I want that on. Because... You know, if I if I go insane, I don't know, guys. It's like I'll, I'll have way better melee and stealthing, but I'll I'll have to have to have to get 100%. I'm gonna have to get um, a scoped weapon, which might be hard to get, and I don't necessarily want to um, limit myself. To a scoped weapon, right? So I don't know, man. Okay, this is like you can you can do a whole bunch of stuff with this, but like you see, like I haven't I haven't finished it. Same thing with this. It's because I, I don't want to use them because they're overpowered. Someone was asked about that previously, just FYI. Um, all right, so we can make some mentats. Yes, we'll do that. Um, Glowing blood packs are amazing. We should do that, too. Also good experience. I could just blow up my fusion cells and get a bunch of these just for experience, too. Like, this what I'm thinking about doing is just making a whole bunch of stuff. 
just uh, for experience. Just seeing what I could do here for a bunch of VXP. Okay, how much is that? 35. What about a plasma grenade? 35. Meh. Not that big of a deal. Bandages. Everything just gives me 35, I guess. Alright. Could boost that more, I suppose. As far as perks... Well, we got a level 100, by the way. As far as perks go... Um... I wouldn't mind getting the last point in Commando, so if we get an automatic weapon, we're good with it. Um, Gunslinger would be good too, but it's not... Yeah, the world, I don't really like pistols very much if we don't have it. Toughness is also great. Like, it's just a generic, generically great perk. Like, I'm not going to have any damage reduction at all. And 50 extra is going to be pretty significant. Not a lot of laser weapons and stuff. Um, on the island, so damage reduction is pretty important, it's pretty good. Yeah, I might do that. Let's go ahead and get some DR. Um, let's finish off Commando. Then start on Toughness. And we'll just start pumping this up so we get some free DR. Because, you know, it's worthless. 100% worthless. I want Heavy Gunner too, by the way. I mean, I want everything, let's be honest. I want everything, guys. But like, five points here for more carry weight. Steady aim's not bad either. Rab resistance okay, but it's not a huge deal. We're just going to regen it. It's not a big deal. Like, really, all I want to get is toughness. There's four points there. Um, maybe Warrior Monk one more point. And, like, Heavy Gunner. So, like, ten more levels. We should be pretty much done. Maybe one point to locksmith so it's easier to um, pick locks. Even though I can already pick locks without this. kind of weird. I don't know. Strange. But yeah, anyway. Um, where am I at? Experience-wise. Yeah, we're almost there. So let's sort stuff here. Gonna drop off all my gear and get back in the power armor, I think. Makes sense, right? Army fatigues I can wear underneath of everything, although, yeah, we'll, we'll use it. It's more strength, it's pretty good. Gotta use the fatigues and the gas mask. Everything else we won't worry about. Um. Can sell those bandages, I guess. Good on stim packs, we're good on surgical kits, everything else pretty pretty good on. <clears throat> we get some more buff tats out. Comex is very good for Sandy, so I'll take those with me as well. I want to have stuff that I can like boost my Sandy to max, basically. Well, I guess we'll we'll come back before we depart, so it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, we're going to be back here. I don't need that many handbox. We're only going to use like one or two at most. As far as food goes, we already did the underwater section so I can eat my crab cakes as I please at this point. Doesn't really matter. Pretty sure we already made all of our food. Nothing more, nothing more we can make here, right? I lied. Venison stew. Energy resistance. 
Yeah, okay. Mutt chops, bear ribs. Yeah, why not? Okay, let's have a drink. I need a whole bunch of stuff. And what are we at, Sandy Wise? 82. Not bad at all. And we have we have lethargy. Can fix that. I have enough antibiotics now. I don't really care if I use them for something even that's kind of only minorly inconvenient like lethargy. Screw it. Just go ahead and use it. We're in very, very good shape. Disease free. Still got our addiction, but whatever. It's not a big deal. What time is it in the day? It's 3 p.m. It's not going to matter, though, because we're going to go underground, right? All right. Well, I'm going to think I'm going to leave my character here. Like, I'm going to leave him at home for now. And I think I'm going to sleep for the night. Like, even though it's only... It's not very late. I'm going to go ahead and sleep for like you know, 16 hours. Get some good sleep. And then we're going to get up in the morning and make our way up to um, hmm, the green line. I don't remember where the green line is at, where the best way to get to it is. We can just go. I don't know. We can go to downtown, I guess. Oops. Fell down. We can go to downtown. Oh shit, am I stuck? Have I... Have I made a big mistake? There we go. We can go to downtown. That's a really cool model, by the way. We can go downtown and... Um, go in from there. And that connects to, like, everywhere. And we'll figure out where the green line's at. Should be near the blue line, um, which, ironically, we are in right now, but not really. Should be in the blue line, and, like, if you go in from downtown, you can get to the blue line pretty quickly. So I guess we follow that until we find the green line. If I remember correctly... Oh, I don't know. It's been a while, guys. But yeah, we're going to suit up uh, next episode, guys, and head out into the green line and see where it leads. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.